Mmm. That delicious pixel drag. I bet it, I bet it's dragging now. Come on. A scepter spoken of in lore. <laughs> and sealed away since days of yore. Unleashes its forbidden power. And stuff. The king is really short. And heralds Trodane's darkest hour. <laughs> God, that guy is really attractive for someone who's for someone whose face we're not allowed to see. Shake a leg, Gov. You know what? I don't think I'll shake a leg. I'll just sit here on this really comfortable stump. I think I'm just making really sense. nice. <laughs> You know what? Fine, I guess I'll shake a leg or two. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable... See you later, Phoebus. Phoebus, no! So, I mean, I gotta say, the Prince of Argonia probably would be cool with her being a horse. I mean, Why? those are... Those Argonians, am I right? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they're already, like, partially animal people. <laughs> I mean, they're oh, wizards, that's... but damn, I'm, I'm sure they're not above fucking a horse. <laughs> but fucking a horse. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't actually have anything but a butt. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. So, whoever so made did you guys this... order a, a barrel? No. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> I just smashed it over his head. <laughs> He's so muscular, he doesn't care. <laughs> damn, look at this guy. He's like. He's like. <laughs> I live off of raw eggs and protein shakes. <laughs> I'm so handsome I can't take off my helmet. Ooh, he looked at me. Oh, it's hideous. Mm. Get out! Get out, monster! You're not welcome here! Oh, these motherfuckers are gonna get one hell of a tax rise from the king. Yeah, he's going to rise their taxes. Yeah, he is going he's going to run these guys financially into the ground when he's king again. I dreamt about uh. you. I dreamt about you. It was a horrible nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I dreamt about you. You were everywhere. <laughs> you had no clothes on either. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere I looked, your face was there. <laughs> the Sigmund Freud effect. Whenever you dream about something, you want to fuck it. <laughs> Suddenly there's a tentacle beast, and I got turned into a horse. <laughs> uh, she actually does look kind of like what Medea would look like as a human. Uh, oh no, I thought, at first I thought you were going to be like a jerk and be like, ah, oh, she kind of does look like a horse. I mean... Uh, why, are your, why are your eyebrows so high up? <laughs> God, look at her. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh man, look at that modeling. And then when she when she blinks, just she's got like a fucking foot of eyelid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those things; they're way up there. It looks uh. like her face is entirely unlike her chin. <laughs> can, it looks like. Can I keep her? That is what I call. Like, that is what like, I call like, an exotic lady. Like, like everything, minus the ears and basically your <laughs> giant forehead, looks completely normal right now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this I can tell this game's gonna be a fucking riot. Uh. <laughs> just, just from this right here. Oh, uh, that's like scaling a flat mountain peak. <laughs> there's just like there's just two ridges, <laughs> halfway up the halfway up the forehead. No, I changed it. I wanted to keep looking. <gasps> no. <laughs> it's by the well at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you. Please, Plinky, again. <laughs> Please, like my my last request before she leaves is like. Can you close your eyes for a couple of minutes? Damn. <laughs> it, it's not as good in this angle, but it's there. Is it? Oh, it's kind of there, but like her, her position so makes it not awkward. Let me stare at you in your sleep. Because <laughs> like you, you can't see your you can't see your whole chin. 
I think that's what it is. You have to be able you have to have like a clear view of her face while her eyes are closed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause like it looked like her entire face was down on her chin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is awesome. It really did no, it looked like a normal face and then someone cut off three other people's foreheads and then stacked <laughs> them on top of it. You mean like you mean like when, when they do middle when they do little face mitt and like just amplify the amplify the wrinkles? Yes. Oh god, dude, I love little face mitt. It's awesome. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 I have an idea. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Hey! Wake up! <laughs> God, she's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> the character's just like looking around now like, Wow, that really didn't work. If you want to make it up to me, you need to close your eyes. I wanted to ask you a favor oh my God, about we're this crystal people. ball. Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? Really, you can just send me on an errand if you want. I mean, you don't you don't have to, but yeah, sure. Of course. Let me explain. I mean, I guess. My father, Calda Rasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. Lost treasure, missing people. So, what does she want you to do with her crystal ball? Uh I couldn't help people with. I don't know. Little do you know she's talking about it like her tits. Like, Look, Jacob, I want you seriously, to. Seriously, can we go like ten? Can we go like ten seconds without talking no. about private parts? Like that really stops being funny super fast. Listen, like ninety. I was gonna. I was gonna say that maybe she was asking me if I could help her fit into her into her vagina, but like. Oh my god! And I decided against saying so because we made a lot of really dirty jokes already. Have we? Yes, oh, we've made and, and so die, many. And die on and off, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've already talked about neutering horses, for God's sake. That's not necessarily a sex joke. That, <laughs> was a, a... that is a joke about privates, though. And not even really a joke, it was a legitimate conversation, which is strange how often that happens with subjects like that. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's probably because he stopped you I... real crystal ball. <laughs> we might need to stop at the normal time today. I am not. And then her father comes in. Tina, what is going on here? <laughs> I think it would be really funny if he thought she would if she if he thought she was trying to bring boys home. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what he if he had like, the same eyebrow what? issue? Like, he's just, like, <laughs> he he's, got too many, he's got too many face wrinkles and like he's got too many details. No, like they stand directly next to each other and both close their eyes and they both, <laughs> their eyes are just like and like Calderash's face like slowly droops down. On <laughs> <laughs> Even his mustache like slides down, becomes like a beard, and like becomes like a bow tie. <laughs> And then, like, it, and then when he opens his eyes, it goes back up, and he actually has like no longer a mustache and a bow tie. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> Which, God, Mimi found a picture of it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not as good in picture though. You have to see it like full screen, or else it's just not as perfect. All right, <laughs> Valentina, what have I told you about bringing boys home? I, I, I'll have you know there are no mind affecting substances in either of our systems. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of grilled cheese, so maybe that was like <laughs> drunk or something. I don't know. Drunk off of cheese, man. <laughs> uh, but trust me, if I was high, I would totally tell you. You would <laughs> straight up admit to it proudly. <laughs> You'd be like, "Yes, I am." How many you know? times have I told you not to let any men touch my crystal ball? How many times have I told you not to let men touch my balls? <laughs> You'd better not let him do that while I'm sleeping. I know I'm drunk off my ass, but come on right now. No homosexual tendencies in here. <laughs> Especially uh, not with 20-year-olds. <laughs> I'm too old for this. 20-year-old bachelors. My head wide... <laughs> My head wide dreadlock is shunning both of you. Uh, Aren't you that boy? God damn it. <laughs> what brings you? I feel like that like one a question like sums up everyone that ever sees us together, like talking together. Are you guys high? 
<laughs> yeah, probably. It's like every time we're hanging out, it's just that is this is how we naturally are. Like whenever, like whenever we're separate, we're two completely different people than oh, we are right now. But like whenever it's together, we're just our personalities just as if we're like high. <laughs> we're like mermaid man and barnacle boy unite. <laughs> Oh and my then our God. personality is meld into one like hive mind of. Wait, stupid. what was that one thing? Uh, you were like, um... oh, do we filter feed? <laughs> wow, he legitimately has not even considered the option that I might want to bang his daughter. Like he just. Yes. <laughs> I do not know what my like, daughter. He has like asked he like he like slaps you on the back, like and like slowly slides his hand to your satchel and like drops something in it. You open it and there's like a box of condoms. <laughs> and like it has like a note in it that says "Go and get him, Tiger." He's like he's like I've been <laughs> like, waiting. As he walks for up the stairs, he look. He turns back and winks at me. <laughs> and like there's like a second note that's like I've been waiting for this day to come for ages. She has not shown any interest in guys, and I was starting to get concerned. <laughs> she went through all of puberty just touching my crystal ball. <laughs> she had some some weird fascination with it. I am <laughs> she really likes my balls, man. <laughs> it was crystal balls. Like, come on now. <laughs> Dude, can you what please? Do you, what do you think I'm talking about? Stop talking about testicles. I am talking about his crystal balls. <laughs> you mean the spit? You mean the one that's on the table and the one he keeps in the back, right? Yes. Yes. The ones exactly. that he's the ones he has his daughter spit shine every night. Like, right, come on. Of course. <laughs> what else? Am I right? Man, uh, I just love having my balls spit shine. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walks up the stairs. <laughs> like he had, like he was listening into our whole conversation, and he was just like, "I have no words." She just goes, "I'm sorry about my dad." <laughs> I'm sure we're laughing way harder than anyone else. Uh, uh, I'm sorry about my father. <laughs> so, like when I talk about spit shining his balls. <laughs> I just haven't been shining them right lately. He's been telling me. <laughs> He's really dissatisfied with my performance. <laughs> okay, you've recruited me into Ball Joke Alley, Jacob. He right. says he says I need to rub them harder and faster to clean. <laughs> And use more spit, but I just don't understand what I'm <laughs> doing. Can you teach me? He says me? he needs me to rub them as hard and fast as I can until it gets efficient. <laughs> Do you have any balls? Can I can I use them to practice? <laughs> you like reach into your pocket and pull out like a satchel of bouncy <laughs> balls. Uh. <laughs> Made of like processed rubber, and she's like, "Where the fuck did these come from?" <laughs> We don't have things that can make these in this century. <laughs> Rubber. As far as we know, oil doesn't exist in this world. She's like, what the fuck is this bullshit? You just quickly <laughs> put them back. Like, whenever you give, like, an adventure game item to the wrong person. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Might I say, this has destroyed my lungs, but I'm proud of myself. For having destroyed I am, it so yeah. efficiently. That was... Uh, thank you for not just like, b like, b get, um, abandoning that joke and going along with it. Oh, of course. That was great. Yeah. Apparently, she has dreams about you every night, though. So I mean. Bye. <laughs>